Hi, so I'm splitting my hair into two and I'm gonna grab my got to be glued and make sure my edges are laid to the point where I like because I don't like it that laid. Mm, then I have my package of hair. I got this from Beast Pod Store for $5.99. It came with two others, so three in total. I use only like one and a half packages for my hair. I didn't use much and I used like, I did jumbo braids, so I'm surprised because my hair's pretty big. It's um, pre stretched, it's pretty long, and it is lightweight. And um, it's a good buy, I'm not gonna lie, it's a good buy. Y'all, oh, excuse the ratchetness in the background. I was watching Bridgerton and it was getting really juicy and popping. Basically, I'm dividing the hair, I'm getting my. Um, I'm getting the amount I want to get. I like to measure with my finger. So you see me, I'm here putting the hair. I like to use the end of the um, hair because it's just easier for it to go through my hair. So I'm gonna crochet the end of the attachment. And I like to form, as you see, I pull it through and I make sure it is even. Don't mind me, I'm really watching this. I'm really into this show. The show is good, good. <laughs> anyway, so I make sure the ends are even to so make sure my ombre is lined up. And the goal is to form a cross. So I'm forming a cross, as you can see. I'm gonna grab the other end of the attachment and make a cross lining up with my real hair. As I'm pointing out. So I go ahead and grab it, clasp it, and then pull it on through. Like you see how easy it is for it to go through because I'm starting from the end versus like starting from the middle where it's really thick. I'm making sure my ombre is lined up, the hair is even, it looks pretty even. So now you see I form my cross and I line my hair up with the cross and I pull the other end to match up with the other end that doesn't have hair. Now it's forming a T. As you can see, it is formed a T and then from then on, that's when I start to make sure my hair is smoother, I would say. I don't know, I'll just grab my hair and make sure it's neat at the tip and go ahead and start my braid so start my braid you see how i'm pulling through my hair because my hair is feeling kind of um not like the texture of the weave obviously because it's not my hair texture but the goal is to kind of like blend your hair into the weave so as i'm braiding it you will see how it's blended into the weave and i just do this all the way through. At this point, it's really looking kind of seamless. And the thing about this, so the difference I did between like the front and the back is the front I used got to be glued. Cause I don't like putting gel in my hair. I don't really care for my edges to be laid and all that stuff. So the back, I don't have got to be glued. So the back kind of looks kind of poofy. Whereas the front has got to be glued. So it's a little bit more laid down. Okay, as you see, I am pulling the braid on down. It is getting orderly and success. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Don't mind. Let me, let me, let me go ahead nope. and fix that. <laughs> but after this, it's like success. You know what I'm saying? A word as good as gospel. Yes. 
And perhaps she can destroy a reputation. She can restore one too. We will need to attend with my brother's signal last support. Where have you been all night? I did not think you concerned about my whereabouts. Is this truly what our marriage will be for the future? You were up all night doing Robin's job. I you have not just committed a grave sin against the speakers. I should take my leave of you for the last time, Miss Thompson. I wish to know the cruelest part of your deception. If you had simply come to me and told me of your situation, I would have married you without a second thought. Mm. That is how, in love, I believe myself to be. At least that is the excuse he gives for coming home. With it's a bit too slim. And here it's rather scanty. Oh, this one is just ripe. As you can see, the goal is not to have slender jumbo braids. I must give the scandal longer. Believe me, I am intent. Get me an answer. Your queen commands it. Of course. Your majesty. Mm. So, I've heard nary a peep about Mr. Bridget and his unfortunate entanglement with the Thompson girl. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm hosting a party I would very much like you to attend. We love a good party. I'm not sure when we will be accepting invitations. It is an invitation for one. Only you. The audacity. What have they tried to entrap poor Mr. Richard into the marriage of a child? Oh. <sighs> How are you faring? Has it been terrible at the house? Not had a caller in three days. My mother swears we are ruined. But, what do you call him? I see him, he's just from use. He's Pride is wounded, but he will be quite well. The gentlemen always are in these matters, but then you have not heard what people are saying. Lady was what I was going to be far this time. And I thought you were her greatest admirer. Not that she has made the name of my greatest friend. When we uncover Miss Adan's identity, we will convince her to publish a retraction and restore your family's reputation. All will be when I can, I promise you. Dear Lady Bridget. Is this not a dreadful circumstance for us both to have been so duped by that scheming hussy? To think that Miss Thompson would take advantage of my kindness after I opened my home to her. You must believe. I had no idea of... Lady Featherington, I must ask you to leave. But I have an invitation. Not anymore. I'm sure you wish to avoid any further unpleasantness. Something troubles you. I know you are a grown woman now, but I am still your mother. You can come to me when you need advice. Marriage has its joys, but it also brings with it its special trials. <laughs> and that you are correct. My marriage is far from perfect, but then share your thoughts and offer my wisdom. Well, perhaps you will send me off with more vague metaphors and trite remarks. That I, I am 
merely trying to be of help. Do you know what might have truly helped that is? If your motherly advice had actually prepared me to wed whatever do you mean? I mean, Mama, that you sent me out into the world no better than a fool. You taught me how to play pretend, but nothing of the realities of married life, of marital relations. If you had informed me about the things that were truly important, if I'd have known the truth, then perhaps I... Daphne. <laughs> It is the heat. The Duchess is So quite to wrap it up, I'm gonna boil some hot water, dip it in to prevent it from looking so stiff. Au revoir.